The Opera House in Calumet is reportedly one of Upper Michigan's most notorious haunted spots. It's one of the most beautiful and at the same time most creepy theaters in Michigan. This palace opened in 1900 and eventually became a favorite of many film stars who traveled to Upper Michigan to attend live shows and plays. In the 1910s and 1920s, such celebrities as Lon Chaney Sr., Douglas Fairbanks Sr., Sarah Bernhardt, composer John Philip Sousa, Frank Morgan, who years later would be the wizard in the 1939 version of The Wizard of Oz, Lillian Russell, Jason Robards Sr., silent cowboy actor William S. Hart, Wallace Beery, Noah Beery, and many others performed at the theater. One of the celebrity performers was Madame Helena Majeska, who passed away in 1909 at the all-too-young age of 68, and it's said that her ghost is one of the spirits that haunt the theater. The first known appearance of Madame Helena's ghost was reported in 1958, while actress Adise Lane was performing on stage. Adise forgot her lines and happened to look up into the balcony. There, she said she saw the figure of Madame Helena who began mouthing the lines to her. Adis was able to finish the play thanks to the ghostly help from Madame Helena. Since then, patrons and employees have reported seeing the form of Madame Helena roaming the theater. They also say they feel cold spots and hear music that comes from nowhere. But Helena is not the only apparition that's said to roam the opera house. In 1903, a man was murdered in the theater whose ghost is seen from time to time and is heard screaming in the dead of night. Also, there seems to be the spirit of a little girl by the name of Alanda Rowe, who died mysteriously at the theater whose screams are also heard. But is that all? Not by a long shot. In 1913, the historic Italian hall disaster took place on Christmas Eve. The hall was packed with families and many little children for the Christmas Eve party and celebration with gifts and food and candy and lots of entertainment. And some idiot, possibly someone who had been drinking too much, hollered fire and that set off a panic. The hundreds of people who were in attendance panicked and ran to the only exit staircase available, and this led to many people tripping, falling, suffocating, crushing, and being crushed. And by the time the panic was over, the death toll was 70, most of them being children. And the worst part? There really was no fire. It was just a prank, and they never caught the guy who did it. The deceased were transported a block away down to the Opera House, which is nowadays the oldest section of the present Calumet Theater. Some feel that the spirits of the deceased children can be heard laughing, playing, and screaming. Lots of paranormal activity reports come from the present-day Calumet Theater. The theater is still open, so you won't have any trouble visiting and exploring for yourself. So go visit. Take video. The address is 346th Street, Calumet, Michigan.